hello. I feel like this is how every single one of my videos start starts, but I realized that I have been MIA for a while. I actually did film a video a week or two ago, but when I sat down to edit the footage, I hated the way that it came out. So I just scrapped it and I'll have to refilm it because it was a cool video, but I just, I really, really hated the footage. That being said, I am just going to do a chatty get ready with me video today because I do really like making YouTube videos and I do really like sharing my makeup and beauty stuff with all of you. I just, I don't know what's wrong with me where <laughs> I just cannot keep a schedule and stay on schedule and things like that. So I'm just going to do a chatty get ready with me today. So it's going to be not really a tutorial. Uh, you'll be able to see You'll be able to see what I'm using and what I'm putting on and how I'm doing it, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining all of that. Also, I have no idea where my phone is, so it might go off. I thought it was in the bed and then I made my bed and I cannot find it anywhere. So we're just going to roll with it and let's get started. So how has everyone been? I just have not been here in so long. It's December, which means I actually actually need to change my calendar because that is still November. But I cannot believe it's already December. Christmas is coming. I'm going to be home in California in like three weeks. So if I can actually get my shit together and stay on schedule, some of my videos will be at my house in California. I want to do like a year-end favorites video just of everything that I was loving the entire year, which means I also have to bring that stuff back to California. So I might have to either film it before I leave. Oh, I could do that. <laughs> I'm going back to a foundation that I initially really didn't like. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. And the first time I bought it, I got a shade that I thought was going to match me. This is Creamy Natural, and I think I got Ivory, because in pretty much any other foundation shade, I'm Ivory or Light Ivory or Natural Ivory or something Ivory. And it was so ghostly white and pale on me that it looked like I was dead. So I returned it and I bought this color, which is 302. And I tried it and I hated the way that it looked on my skin. I just, I absolutely hated it. It looked awful. And then I, I didn't try it for a really long time. And now I'm back to trying it because some, for some reason, I like the way it looks now a lot better than I did in the past. So I'm using my Real Techniques sponge on this and it is really moussey, but I don't know. I really like it. But yeah, it's December. It's not as cold here in New York as I expected it to be and as cold as everybody's always making it sound, especially because I'm from California. Everybody's always like, oh my god, you're gonna be freezing. What are you gonna do? You're such a baby. And it's like, Shh shut up. <laughs> I know how to deal with cold weather and it's not even that cold here. I'm normally all about Tarte Shape Tape just like everybody else is, but because this foundation is so pale, I'm actually going to use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This is in the shade Light Ivory. So anyway, the video that I filmed the other day that I ended up hating was actually an eyeshadow palette collection video because I have... let me see... I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, like these drawers and stacked on top are pretty much all eyeshadow palettes. And I have a lot of them and I was trying to figure out how I wanted to share my makeup collection because some of my favorite videos on YouTube are just people sharing their makeup collections or going through all the stuff that they have, sort of organizing them. I just think it's so fun and so interesting to see what other people have and to watch them organize it because it, it just calms me down. To watch people organize things. So I was trying to figure out the best way to show you the stuff that I have even though my collection is like nowhere near a lot of the really popular um, influencers. And so I was breaking it down into categories and I did eyeshadow palettes and it was such a fun video to do but the footage was so bad. <laughs> like my eyebrows looked so bad and like they don't look good right now. But this eyebrow is literally on like a different plane than this one. Even when they're done, like they're, this one's so much lower than this eyebrow. And it was all I could focus on in the video when I was editing it. And I was like, I, I can't post this. It looks so, it looked like I had photoshopped somebody else's eyebrow onto my face. Like that's how bad it looked. This is my favorite bronzer of all time. And I dropped it one too many times and it shattered. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And it just, it's so good, but I kept dropping it. And so now 
there's powder everywhere and I know I can fix it if I like spritzed it with some alcohol and pressed it but I don't have any rubbing alcohol and every time I'm out and about I don't think about buying rubbing alcohol so I've just been using it broken and like tapping my brush in there to pick up some of the some of the product on the brush but I either need to get a new one or buy some rubbing alcohol and fix this one because it's the best and most pretty beautiful bronzer I've ever used I think New York is a great place to visit it's a great place to be wealthy but if you're not wealthy it's not a lot of fun I don't think I'll stay um, unless I get offered like a really really good job here I'm not ruling it out but I would like to come back to the West Coast I don't know what this is I'm also back on my NARS orgasm blush I wasn't using it for a while because I have so many other blushes and I had it had just sort of ended up at the bottom of my blush drawer but I reached for it the other day and I just I fell back in love because it's it's the easiest blush I have to blend it just it's so effortless I feel like I love the color it does have gold glitter in it but not too much and I just I love it I'm so glad that I'm back on it this is actually my second compact of it so I went through an entire one I also have this in like NARS has like the old or what are they called the multiple sticks so they have one called multiple orgasm which is so I have that too and it's like a cream product and you can use it as a blush or a highlight and I like that one a lot too I just use this one more often because it's easier for me to apply powders than cream products this is like a hot mess of a product but it's so pretty and I was challenging myself to try new products that I just sort of put at the bottom of my drawer and forget about this is the artist couture diamond glow powder in the shade illuminati and it's a loose glitter highlight and it has like the little twist I don't want to open it because I'll spill it everywhere but it has the little twist top that has like a sifter so that you can close it well that doesn't really work and there's still powder everywhere so I just have all of this loose glitter but the good news is it collects in the top this is a glittery glittery highlight if you don't like glittery highlights you will not like this it gets a little less chunky and glittery as you blend it out on the skin because all the little glitters sort of pop off and fly away and so it gets a little bit more just shimmery and wet looking but it, it's a mess to use I also like highlight on my nose oh, I just felt my phone vibrate it's definitely in the bed I like to highlight my nose too a lot of people don't they think it looks bad but you know what you can do whatever you want and I'm gonna Oh my god it vibrated again okay I can feel my phone vibrating I know it's near me but that also means somebody's trying to contact me what if it's important I know you were all on like pins and needles about that I did find my phone I had to take my whole bed apart and I found it folded in the blanket at the end of the bed and it was just my sister texting me about zucchini so it wasn't really worth it <laughs> So I'm gonna do my eyebrows now and I've been struggling so hard with my eyebrows lately I've been trying like a lot of different products because all the stuff I've been trying I don't like how it looks and part of the problem is that this eyebrow is so different than this eyebrow and I do my best to try and line them up I'll like overline this one a little bit but it just they don't even they don't even look that differently shaped in person and then I see them on camera and they're literally like ones here and ones up here I don't understand so this is a NYX professional micro brow pencil um, it's really really similar to the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills brow whiz I'm gonna do my best to try and make my brows match up like I brush this one all the way up as high up as it'll go I brush it and it's just they don't match up so I'm gonna do these off camera just because it's gonna take me forever and I won't talk I'll just be sitting here trying to fill them in and we'll be back to see how well I did at that so I did that and this is how they turned out and I promise they don't look this bad in person I don't know what it is about the camera that makes my eyebrows look so bad this one always looks so much darker than this one this one looks a lot rounder than the, like they look like two different eyebrows like I look like two different people and it drives me crazy no matter what I do no matter how I shape them no matter how like how high above my actual like natural hairline I go on this one you can see they just they just don't line up it drives me crazy I don't know what to do 
when you're watching my videos and you're like, oh my god, her eyebrows don't line up, they don't look good. I know, you don't have to tell me. Let's start the eyes. I was watching Friends while I was doing my eyebrows. I watch Friends pretty much every day when I do my makeup just because I've seen it so many times that I don't need to watch it. I can just sort of listen and I know what's happening and I like to have something on while I'm just sitting here doing my makeup. So I watch it pretty much every day. So I was watching it. It's the one in Barbados part two if you're a Friends fan. I just like to have something on. I put way too much eyeshadow primer on. I don't know what I was thinking. So today I'm going to be playing with this Winky Lux Kitten Palette that I got in a BoxyCharm. It's actually like a collab with BoxyCharm. And this is what it looks like. There's no mirror, which I don't like. But this is what it looks like. And I'm actually going to do something with the red and blue today because I love the way that red and blue look together. I'm going to amp up the blue with another color, actually. So I wish I had a mirror because then I could just use this. But that's why I grabbed this because I wasn't sure if I wanted to use one of these blues to amp it up. But whatever, we're getting off topic. I like to set down my eyeshadow primer with a color that's just really neutral and almost like my skin tone just so that it's not sticky because I want it to prime my lids and help the shadow stick but I also don't want it wet because then the eyeshadows won't blend on top they'll just grab at it and pull and it'll be weird and it won't look good just like my eyebrows so I'm in school which you know it's school I have it a lot less frequently than I did in undergrad which is nice but it's going well, so the first semester is about to end. I have my classes for spring. This is a 12 class master's program, so I've completed four. In the next couple weeks, I'll have completed four of them. And I'll have eight left, registered for four in the spring. So theoretically, I could be done in August, but I also need to complete an internship or do some sort of special project before I graduate. So that could delay it. I could end up part-time so that I can complete the internship Part. If you don't know, I want to work in Major League Baseball and I want to do analytics and stat stuff. I basically, I want to do baseball math to help teams do better, win more games, and to help the players understand their game a little bit better. So that is what I am trying to do. I, it's like Moneyball. I want to be Jonah Hill in Moneyball, but not really. But if you don't know anything about this, that's a good place to start. So yeah, I'm applying to internships with Major League Baseball teams. Uh, I actually did have an interview with a team and I didn't hear back, so I clearly didn't get the job. But it was cool to just to even have an interview and to get that email that they wanted me to interview was incredible. It was actually a digital interview, which I had never done before. It was actually exactly like what I'm doing right now. I filmed myself answering the questions that they asked me. Uh, there was an essay and then I sent it off basically like a YouTube video and maybe they didn't like my eyebrows either and that's why I didn't get it but it was I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it because I do have a little bit of practice talking to the camera and acting like I'm talking to a person uh, and I liked the fact that the computer and the camera couldn't ask me counter questions they just had to stick to the questions that the team had preloaded to ask me do the, I think these shadows have names actually. So right now I'm using Cheshire, like a Cheshire cat. I can't say that word. And I used strut earlier um, in the crease. Cheshire. Cheshire? Is it like a hard H? Like ch Cheshire? Oh, I don't know why that's so hard. Cheshire? Okay, so now I'm gonna take this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade School Bus. This is a pearlized finish, so it's not matte, but it's not glittery, and I really, really like it. People have asked me before why it's called School Bus if it's blue, and like, I'm not ColourPop. I can't tell you why they did this, but I think it's funny. So anyway, I'm gonna use this all over the lid before I go in with Nine Lives, which is this blue on here, just because I want it to be a little bit deeper and I want it to actually be blue. These shadows apply best with your finger. There's no mirror on that. Apply best with your fingers, so that's what I'm gonna do. ColourPop is also in Sephora now. They don't have everything in Sephora, but if you've never experienced ColourPop before and you've been on the fence about it, you can go into Sephora and play with some of these to get an idea of what they feel like. I'm going to take just a big flat shader brush and go into Nine Lives now and press this right on top. 
I haven't tried this. I've only tried this on its own. So we're going to see how it looks layered on top here. It'll also help us blend out the color pop a little bit better. I guess I ended up way darker than that one. I'm going to have to fix that. That's what I like about makeup though, is like you can, you can just fix it. It's not permanent. You can take it off. You can add more. You can start over. I need to do something about this blue that I got on me. I dropped my concealer sponge though, so I'm going to try and just tap it away. I was going to use black eyeliner, but I actually have a blue eyeliner that I bought a long time ago and haven't used yet. I think that might be kind of fun. I'll grab it in a second so we can see what color it is. I do think we should try the blue eyeliner. This is by Jordana. This is the Easy Liner in Sterling Blue. I also have one in Sea Green, but I think that it would be really fun to try this, and I haven't tried it yet. Ooh, it's a twist up. That's good. I bought this so long ago, I don't even remember. And I'm going to, I'm definitely going to use this on my waterline. We'll see how it looks. That is blue. That really, okay, why does this under eye look red and this one is blue? It can't just be because I added this. I need to remember that I have these more often because they just, they add such a cool pop of color instead of just using black like I normally do. I actually decided that I want this to be even more glittery because I love glitter. Did you see that scientists want to ban glitter because it's not good for the environment? Which I'm sure is true because glitter is just like little pieces of plastic just cut up and it gets everywhere and like I'm sure that's true. But to ban glitter, like that hurts me to my core. The point is I wanted this to be more glittery so I grabbed this ColourPop Hello Kitty. This I think the school bus one is actually a Hello Kitty clad too. Yeah. And this is a rainbow, which again, doesn't make any sense, but don't ask me why they named it that. It doesn't even have like glitters that are all different colors. It kind of reflects blue. Um, and this is obviously a glitter sheer. So you can't use this as like its own eyeshadow because it's extremely, extremely sheer. It's just meant to be glitter. Yes. Yes. The last thing I have to do is add mascara, and I'm going to use my Luminish, Luminish, the last, oh my god, the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. This dried up really quick, so I actually need a new one. I can still use it, but kind of just like the Too Faced Better Than Sex tube, it dries out so fast. I don't know if it's something about the tube. I think false lashes with this eye look would look so good, but... I'm just not a fan of trying to put false lashes on because then you mess up and I mess up my whole look and there's glue everywhere and I glue my eyes together. I only wear false lashes for like really special occasions when I want to look really glamorous and today is not one of those because I'm going to finish filming this video, I'm going to order a pizza and I'm going to edit this video. I order pizza a lot. I'm pretty sure my roommates judge me about how much pizza I order. I probably order a pizza once a week just because it's really easy. It's right down the street. They deliver it to my door and it feeds me for like multiple meals because I obviously cannot eat a whole pizza all at once. Plus Domino's is having like a half off pizza like promotion. So why not? But I'm pretty sure my roommates judge me about how much pizza I eat. Hopefully they don't because like I would never judge anybody for eating a lot of pizza because pizza is awesome. So roommates, if you're watching this, I'm sorry I order a lot of pizza. <laughs> I'm a big fan of just bold. So I have this Ofra liquid lip. I don't know what color it's in. I don't know if it rubbed off or it was just never on here, but I got it in a boxy charm. It's named after like a city or an island or a country. Like I just don't remember. And I don't remember what box I got it in or I would look it up. I'm gonna try and look it up anyway. I think it's Tuscany. The moral of the story is that's what I think, and we're gonna pop on some lip liner that I also got in a boxy charm. <laughs> and that is it for this chatty get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and hanging out with me. I really like these videos. I love just putting one on when I do my makeup. So I hope you enjoyed it despite my horrible eyebrow. Here's hoping that I can actually stick to a schedule and upload more often because I really, really do like making these videos and it seems like people like watching them. So if you do like watching them, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel because it's easy and it's free and it really means a lot to me when people do that. And please share this video if you liked it. Um, nobody ever does that, but if you did, 
I would love you so much. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.